Hi everybody, this is Roberto Williams. I'm a pastor at El Shaddai Church. I work for the international minister there and uh, today I will show you very quickly uh, a uh, tutorial related to our new tool or, or new translation tool. Okay? It's a website, it's a, a platform that uh, supports us in all the translations. Nowadays we are trans translating all the material from Portuguese to Spanish, Italian, to uh, English, British English, American English. Right? So, uh, the idea here is you to participate. First of all, create your free account. That's very easy. Click here and you will see here. Wow, my system read fill in with some old information, but you, you fill with your designer's name, email, password, confirm your password and click here sign up and create my profile. Okay, then you have your user. First of all, when you create your username, please let me know. Okay, send me an email informing, informing us my email is here just for your note. Roberto Williams with two L's, double L. Okay, at gmail.com. You inform me why? Because I need to assign you inside a project. Okay, if you don't inform me, I don't know how to include you in the projects. Right, so let's go to login. Log in. I use here my wife's username as a test. Okay, username, password. Then we are here. So we start here in our page. Shows show here our username, and we see the projects that we are signed. If uh, you just uh, sign up. Probably you have no projects assigned to you. So th that's because I need to know your uh, username and then I, I send you an invitation for you to join the projects. Currently we are working five projects, uh, include all the languages. So for Nadia, uh, right now we have two projects that she's involved on. That's our example here. You see that when we pass your error arrow, we see the flag from uh, uh, England, from the from Night Kingdom. So uh, that shows how many language uh, is uh, inside of this project. So uh, just to go straight to our example, let's take here School for Leaders. That's in British English, maybe could be other languages as well, but here's just one. So we click go to translations. What are you gonna see? We you see here the source language. We will see here who is the owner of project. How many participants is here? How many days was created this project? When was the last activity? Okay, so we have some options here in the main uh, part. It's activity and discussions. We don't go through this right now. You will click uh, uh, in the icon, in the flag related to the language that you are translating. If you are translating in Italian, click in the, the Italian flag. Okay, here we will click in the only flag that's here, this English, United Kingdom. Okay, thanks Lord. We see here all the, the files that is under translation or waiting for translation. We see here, unfortunately, it's in Portuguese, but you can understand. Lesson 5, book 2. Okay? Lesson 7, book 2. You see that there's no lesson 6. We already finished. So then it's not here anymore. You see pending files here, just this, okay? Important, you see the progress. 
of the translation. 14% this, this file here. You, you have two options and I'll explain what you're gonna use. Uh, probably if you are Brazilian uh, you will use this button here, translate. Why? Because we are translate from Portuguese to English in this case. So, uh, US translator, you will make the first translation. So, after that, you, if you are, f uh, you are not Brazilian, uh, we have several people, like in England, we have uh, uh, Pastor S Stephen Jeffs, you, he will work on vote. What means vote? Uh, or James Douglas in US. Uh, we have uh, here Jessica Sestari working as well in the Spanish. So uh, all the, the people that has a mother tongue that is the, the language that we are translating to, uh, you will use this option. What means these options? Let's take a look. Click here. You will see here all the translation right done. Then you will see that, that you have three things that you can do. You can give grade. Uh, you can vote for the translation. You can press plus if it's a positive or minus if it's a negative uh, grade. And you can delete the translation if it's the suggestion, if it's too bad. Okay? Uh, here I cannot do it even if I click because my user create this so I cannot vote so if for instance I translate to English who will vote the the English uh, here's a British probably pastor Stephen will will vote okay and we'll close the translation so what else if you need to go to the menu you click here and you show the menu. If you need to go to another file inside of this project, if you click in project, you see the, the files that are available. Okay, let's go to lesson seven. Okay, in fact, here I will not vote. Just to show you, I will come back to a project page and you show the other option that is translate so clicking on translate you get this nice page here that show you in your left side the text the original text to translate you see in green each row row here is a phrase okay you see in green what was a read translated in red, what is pending is not translated. Okay, if I click here, you will see here the original phrase, the complete original phrase on top. In the middle, you will write your option, your, your translation. You know, what I suggest, we can start with this Microsoft Translator tool here below. It's already giving you an option. Maybe it's, well, you can think, wow, sometimes it's, it's very bad to translate. I agree with you. But most of time, most of times can help us to have some uh, example to start, okay? Some, some structure. We click here, then we can correct. After correct, we just click commit. Important. If you don't click commit, we will not save. If you don't save, you will need to do it again, okay? One thing important here, words like uh, encounter, vision, we need to put in the capitals, the, the capital, the first letter, and uh, we should follow here the, 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 the model, right? If you have a vision here in the capital, uh, you, you, you keep here, right? That's pretty basic, so I don't want to go further. And uh, I think we covered the most 
important features here. So may Lord bless you, keep you, guide you, and uh, give to you all the wisdom and, and the intelligence necessary to translate and to keep doing this great work that's touching the nations. Uh, nations like Pakistan, that's 97% of uh, Islamic people. That's a difficult place, but through this work we are reaching such countries and other countries like Peru um, uh, and other others in Europe, like England, like uh, United States. So, God bless you and keep going, doing this great work. Bye-bye.